Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Direct Farmer, and I'm here with a quick YouTube commentary on LOL. Uh, um, probably can't expect any more LOL videos or basically anything that won't be really short. Oh great, second time is work. Um, this game, we had a bunch of auto lockers, so I have no idea how I'm going to do. I've noticed that there's been great interest in some of my LOL videos, so I want to make it clear that I do not think I'm particularly good at all. In fact, I think that I'm rather bad. Well, not rather bad. The thing is that I play more casually than most people. I play because I want to play with my friends, but I also try and play competitive, competitively every now and then. I have some pretty good games, but I choose not to upload them because I didn't record them. I don't choose not to upload them. I can't. And I don't have roll, roll replays because I'm an idiot. I'm trying to get that soon, but videos won't be very important to me now that it's the school year. So I'm just, this is kind of like an up video, and I know I'm talking kind of more, ah, I already screwed up. No, uh, I already, I know that I'm talking faster than usual, but that's probably because I just am ready for the game, because now it's the weekend, it's my only free time, and, uh, after school starts, you really don't get much during the week. So, we have Ezreal and Warwick at top. It's apparently, he's a second time Warwick, but I don't believe that. I think he's just doing that because he thinks he's gonna do that. Uh, Katarina. I don't know. She's, she never said it. She's been the most, or he, I guess, because it has a guy's name. Think. Well, anyway, he was the only person that didn't auto lock. Timo auto locked uh, Warwick and Ezreal all of all them auto locked, forcing me into the tank or semi tank as guys. And um, him into the mid roll. Oh look, I hit both of them. Um, I'm gonna have to solo bot. And also, I'm a very slow typer. Um, no idea how this is gonna go. I'm gonna see if I can get maybe a CS. No, no I can't get CS. Um, stay away. Uh, I'm just trying to get double with that. Um, I mean, yeah, I know I'm using my skills that are usually reserved for harass for farming, but um, I'm kind of desperate right now. And also, by clicking it doesn't seem to work because it's you need like 200 minions. And I'm being harassed significantly. This is really a pain because with Teemo, I could have had some good harass because Teemo's really good at harassing um, melee like Jax. But uh, in this case, not so much. Oh, here he is. Just a little late to the party. Now, Jax can harass me pretty well with his jump because I have no range backup. And if I try to fight him, you know, his buddy would just come in and hurt me. Um, <clears throat> come here, Timo. Come here. Nope, didn't hit them. Didn't expect them to, but at least it kept keeps them away. Keeping them away is very important, because if you can keep them... Oh, good job. If you can keep them away from your um, AD carry, as you are, as I'm trying to do in bot, it's really good. Especially when they're lower level and you just want to let the AD carry farm a bit. Gotta make sure I don't let too many marks and storm get to me here, or else I'll be utterly useless. Now let don't this Timo didn't doesn't know the golden rule about Jack. When you see him running at you with his lamppost going, that means he's going in for an attack. If you dodge it, or by dodge it, I mean just uh, he, the ring is not actually the correct ring. Um, see he's going after us, isn't he? No, stay back. No, what are you doing, Timo? All right, you have heal, but you wasted it. All right. Sorry, I'm talking to Timo more than I'm talking to the audience. Um, the thing is that if he comes up to you with his lamppost, that means he's glowing. That means that he's trying to um, hit you by, most likely by the jump and lamppost and that spin combo. Um, so he can dodge all your basic attacks, slow you, not, well, not slow you, more like um, render you immobile for a few seconds by stun, and then possibly can get a few shots on you. So that combo would allow for a good chunk of my health to be dissipated. Um, anyway, sorry, I'm shocked by the game. Um, seems better that Kimo should stay a little farther back because he's really under farmed. Um, at least I'm letting him get some farm. I'm just kind of casually staying back, getting every other farm, farm I can get. Try not to steal anything by accident, because you know how your champion randomly auto attacks stuff. 
because that pretty much brings everything up to speed. So, uh, this Teemo doesn't really know how to play AD carry. I don't know what he's planning to do as Teemo. He's playing very overly cautious, I should say. Just very cautious. It's over. It's too much. Because, um... Oh. That's not the... He's playing a Teemo that could be a little more pa powerful. See, I hate how they're actually inside the circle, but then again, they're not. Need to fix that. Um... But we need to push them away from our tower, because even if he does go under the tower, he can do a little hit and run action there too. And I'm surprised my mana survived this long, so I'm gonna go back to base and get my Philosopher's Stone. Just gotta hit them both with silence so Timo can get the jump on them. No pun intended, Jax. I'm upgrading my Vorpal Spike, because I feel that my attack damage is going to be a lot more prevalent in these fights than if I um, upgrade my Feral Scream. Because if I upgrade my Feral Scream, all it does is give me more magic damage. And magic damage early on won't help me. Because this auto attack is free, I guess. I, I want to call it free, that's, that's what I want to call it. Because it doesn't cost mana. And Teemo gets a kill after I blew my ignite on it. You know what, he's the AD carry, so it's fine. I really don't care. The thing that Jax is like most, I guess newer players to Jax, they're very greedy and they think that they can survive and are, um, Jax is a very strong champion, don't get me wrong, but they think they can survive it. And Kenan players most like, they might just be prejudiced against short champions, but a lot of short champions really annoy me because they usually are able to escape they have a good escape mechanism, yet they have some sort of survivability slash, um, slash. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't take me. Ooh, maybe you can. If only I had my ult ready. Alright, I'd eat him. I'm just gonna have him follow me into the bush, because I'm... How much damage is there? Just eat him, lol. Well, that was pretty good, I have to admit. He didn't, he just walked in the bush and got eaten. I didn't actually expect to finish that. Here, just let me get farm in peace, Timo. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, Jax comes. Jax, here's Jax. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna need to go back for mana soon, but I can't leave Timo in guard, because that's just cruel. Now I'm gonna upgrade the stream, because I'm gonna need some more of that silence and magic damage, because I feel... Jack's gonna be building some armor. Um, just checking out. All right, so he's he's building AP. Um, and their team building AP. So both basically both he and Kennen have the same sort of build. And I keep missing my Q on them, mostly because I'm confused. It just I, I've been playing too many champions that aren't like him. I can't really save him here. I don't have any skills, but I'm gonna try. I'm going to do as much damage to Jack as I possibly can on the way there. And possibly can. I, I really do need an excuse to go back, though. <clears throat> though I can't leave the tower undefended. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to draw them out and get them into a very, very tough position. Look, he's going to come after me. And... I'm not going to say Timo didn't back me up, he did his best, and he's doing his best right now. But, um, there's nothing really either one of us could have done. Either of us. Alright, let's see. Uh, Jax is low. If I can just hit him with Q, it'll be enough. They think they probably are both going to come after me. I'm not going to waste mana, actually, that'd be a stupid idea. Just let the tower push them back. There, he's gonna try and hit me as soon as he can. Now that all their minions are there, I'm gonna try not to take much damage and wait for Timo to come back. Then I'm gonna hit them up. Alright, now they're scared. Oh, they're not so scared, are they? Alright, so now that I've gotten plenty of farm, Jax, I'm gonna charge in the bush. Ooh, seems that they have run. And since Jax can't be hit during that whole time, he has his E up. 
Um, he was safe. Now I'm gonna let Teemo just get some um, nice farm here. Take it out, buddy. I'm gonna hit that one down low for you, or not, because that was dangerous and close. Um, this guy needs some farm. He only has. He has some mana potion. Excuse me. A little pick up there, but um. I know I'm pushing the too much, and I'm setting, but this is just a game for fun. And we're winning, so... Not being cocky or anything, but, you know, why not? I don't feel like this represents any kind of pro gameplay, just a fun game. Come on, team. Ooh, ooh. I want to see if I could hit him there, thought my range is bigger. Or greater, I should say. Um, he can't go into the tower after hit somebody with that. He can poke him with it, but uh, besides that, and I miss again. They always move at the last possible second. I got to go back and buy stuff. But I can't keep him alone. Actually, I can while Jack's gone. Though Jax was just healing. If I can just grab, I don't want any of this. Well, maybe part of that. <clears throat> oh no, that that'll probably come. But anyway, <clears throat> so we have Jax and we have Cannon. So I'm gonna need Mercury Shred for the reduced, uh, you know, the whole tenacity passive and the uh, magic. Has been that should be useful. Oh, for a second, I thought that Timo was killed as soon as I left. An enemy has been slain. All right, um, defense. So what, from here, I usually just go with a heart of gold, so you can get that gold per five. Um, I call it GP5. Um, maybe I should start early on this and get the uh, mana crystal because, you know, that will allow me to cast more spells, which would help Timo and I, in respectively. Um, I might want to get a little bit of ability power because with that little bit of ability power, I have a really high chance of doing more damage and assisting my team more. But I will not sacrifice uh, tankiness or ability power. That's just stupid. I've seen many people just decide, oh, I'm a tank, but I should just do more damage, because that would be more helpful. No, as a tank, your roles take a lot of damage. And as Cho'Gath, I try to do that, especially by maximizing the usefulness of the beast deck. The only reason why I'm saving it and having it being on... If I can just eat him, or not. I wanted to save that so I could use it as a damage potential because in lane, in contrast to jungle, that what is this? Um, this Teemo seems to be slightly illiterate or just trolling. Um, can't tell which. So you can't tell if trolling or just illiterate. Now Jackson can try and jump. See, we can just make Jack waste his mana like that. So he has that Doran's ring, so he does have increased regen. Alright, Timo, get that creep. Let's see if he can back... Alright, that made him back off a tiny bit. And why did... Well, I swear. Alright, that was a complete and utter fail. But, you know, let's just lead him back into the bush. Um, just put that there. For no apparent... I am utterly stupid for doing that, but um, they knew we were in the bush anyway, so. It's not like we were going to hide it. I was only trying to see if they'd rush in, I didn't know what they do. Um, these guys seem to move around a lot, so it's kind of hard to them with my skill shots. Especially when they only get in the edge and I can't go within range of the tower. It's a little difficult to hit them with the skill shots. Um, Chemo's been setting up a lot of shrooms. I, I really want to lure them. Come on. Boom. Both are hit up. Why did I do that? I have no idea why I did that. That's why... Uh, what? I did... Huh? I don't... You gotta be... Just eat that. 
I hate when that happens. Like, that was a stupid move, I have to say. Uh, but if I had to upgrade my Feral Screen more, he would have definitely died. See, I was able to just harass him, but my uh, minions were taking most of the damage. Haha, coward. Scares. <sighs> Calling somebody a coward in a video game just doesn't make sense. It's a video game, not real life. No one's cowardly for not wanting to die in a video game. It's just a game. Oh, oh god. Because in, I get it, the whole team thing where, oh no, but why would you want to die? I mean, even if it's fun, that's still considered trolling, like, purposely, intentionally feeding, I guess, like, fall, that's cabin baseball. Oh, come here, Jax, come here, come here, come here, or not, be that way, Jax, huh? Mm. And I lied to you guys, I said to get a philosopher's stone, I lied. Um, that could probably help me in some situations, but... Uh, they... I'm all alone in here. Or I'll even get the double kill, because... I was expecting my feast, I guess, to do more damage. Hacker? Hacker. I don't think he knows hacker. I think they're just a little butthurt. I need to go back because I have money, and also my health and mana are low. So I might go see about the philosopher's stone. Philosopher's Stone. It's worth the buy. I'll just get the Chainmail. Ooh, so close. Um, Chainmail doesn't really matter right now. My the physical damage I'm taking is mainly from Jax, and that physical damage isn't helping. Um, I might need physical damage later to counter their Warwick and their Teemo, as well as more magic resistance. I'm going to hop to Golf, the Abner Jungler. Just get myself a. Uh, a little bit of a feast stack. So does 1k damage to Golem, get that one. Wasn't sure what his health was. Was able to get some health and mana back. And that mana regen is greatly appreciated because it gives me about 1.5 more per second if I remember correctly. I'm just gonna walk in here. Run! Silence. They're both hit, they're all hit by the shroom, correct? But they did have the Lord. Come on, Teemo, come on. I, I just led them on for you. I had the mistake of letting, thinking Teemo would help me there. Yeah, no. Bro. Alright. Can't complain. I guess I baited them a little too early and caused my own death. And uh Kimo was too intent on killing Jax that uh he let Hennon just take him out. Um partially my fault for not waiting for Kimo to be in range, but then again, if Kimo was in range, um they might not have been interested. And Hennon's probably going to destroy the turret. If not, He's just going to leave it very low. Yeah, of course. I'm not going to tank a turret, but that's... Lack of coordination can often result in these kind of situations like I'm showing you on top. One enemy gets away. No, can't. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. 
Go on, Timo, hurry up, hurry up. He is so annoying. Yeah, and of course, he hits the outside, but no. It's so annoying when he does that, especially when I hit him with the outside. Alright, I lost the stack on death, that's why I was confused why I don't have three stacks anymore. And I just killed him with my... Oh, so I lost two stacks. Let's see if he walks in there, yes. Gets hit with that too. This is just brilliant what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. And this mana region is really helping. It was no mistake that Philosopher's Stone. Well, it kind of... Oh god, we have no minions. An ally has I'm hiding, I'm hiding. If we can just drag them into the bush, they won't. Yeah. I'm just getting some free, um... See? Right on the edge. Oh, uh, I thought he'd go back into that. But you never... Oh, gosh. Timo, you might not want to do that. Oh, that hit no one. And no, people aren't linear. Run! Don't know why it came out sideways, but... Maybe lead them right into some shrooms. Let's see if I can get this kill. Oh, and I left Teemo all alone. Oh no, he's right there. And Katarina is just going hard on these guys. Hit him up. Let Katarina get a nice helper out there. Kill Diana. Or not. Or not. Why not just, you know, do something? No. You can get a base right here. So it was, I had to say, I enjoyed playing Joey F as support. I, I usually do. And um, this is Mark Swimmer signing off. Thanks for watching, guys.